hello guys uh, welcome to yet another tutorial my name is juma and today i'd like us to look at uh, submitting a form using laravel view and axios and so the first thing that you will need to do is for us to do a fresh installation of laravel and uh, that one uh, uh, because i've installed laravel glo globally i will do laravel uh, new and then the name of the project is lara uh, view and then run that command because i've already done that so i'm just uh, guiding you on how to do that the next thing you need to do is to uh, install laravel ui and you will use this command composer uh, require laravel UI the development version and Laravel UI is the one that houses the CSS uh, scaffolding and JavaScript Vue.js among other things and also the authentication so uh, this command you take a while for it to run after it is run and complete then we need to install uh, put uh, Vue.js scaffolding and also maybe view auth even though we will not be using it so you say php artisan uh, ui view auth it you uh, create for us the layout file which is uh, something that i'm really interested in and also the do compilation of uh, vue.js so when you run this command it you install authentication and every other thing the next thing we need to do after that installation or uh, compilation is complete we need to uh, run npm uh, npm install install this command you install the NK npm packages and then we also need to run npm npm run dev to do compilation of those uh, assets or compilation of uh, the assets that you would have done now after doing that then our application would be uh, good for us to work on and you will have you will now be having whatever it is that i have here so let me show you we have the node modules and when you go to resources under views um, i mean under J js the javascript you find we have components and we also have up to js so app.js and then we have the example component and this is the example common component that is being declared here and as you can see the element that we are targeting is app the reason why i had to install um, the authentication is that it should do for us the layouts file and the layouts file is this file here and when you check the layouts we have uh, a div with an id of app that is where this uh, this uh, function is targeting. So anything that we put in our in our project, in our files, as long as we are extending layouts dot up, our view component would be able to work perfectly. So I would like us to create a component here. So I will do a new file, and let us just call it form dot view like that you save it and i just copy the component the contents in a example component and put them in there uh, copy paste like that the next thing uh, you do you are just submitting any random form so i will call it company company uh, details uh, details or new company details whatever it is that you want to do and here i put a form and as you can see 
view is very nice because we're just using uh, we're just using the normal HTML and then after that we'll be able to tie it to view such that we can have some interactivity. So here we have the company name and here we have input uh, type is uh, text and uh, instead of the name let me do v model and v model will assist us to be able to tie our input to Vue.js such that we can be able to submit it so then the v model i want to call its name name and then we can have a class just for the for some styling but of course in if you require to do styling that one you can you can do that because i would not be really looking into that in this tutorial so here form control and then uh, i can copy this one severally so copy the next thing that you have is uh the phone the company phone and I'll paste that one here. What I'll change is that the phone is a number. Mm, number. And then uh, the name here will be phone. And then uh, every other thing is good. So we model phone. Uh, the next thing that I'll do is email. Uh, I think those ones are enough. So like that, here you have the type is email and V model, uh, we call it email also. The next thing you do is to do the submit uh, input the type submit submit and the name I want to just remove it like that. I think there's a typing error. Submit like that. Then I will come and declare those uh, uh, values of the inputs in uh, data. So you do something new here, data. And data must return. Uh, so you do return. And then we have name in this case empty uh, email also an empty uh, value for now and then the phone also an empty value like that so we can save that and here we can say instead of consoling uh, console.log mounted maybe we can alert mounted uh, mounted uh, mounted or maybe welcome to just check if our component is working now the next thing I need to do is to open another window and uh, run do run this command npm run watch it's very important to do this otherwise our assets whatever it is that we are doing will not be compiled and that will make our project not to work so we are running watch that's okay now the next thing i would like us to do is to go to routes no, go to uh, uh, views and uh, create create a new a new blade file. We can say new company dot blade dot php save that one and then come here I want us to extend layouts I 
I also want us to do the section. In the section we have the content. And then end section. And this is where you'll be putting our view component. So let me go first of all and register this component in app.js. Uh, I will just copy whatever is there, for example, component, and put it down there, paste. The name of this component, maybe we can call it new hyphen company. And then, uh, as you can see, we have called it form.view. So here, the, the component is form form dot view and every other thing you leave it like that then i will go to uh, layouts uh, i mean to new company dot blade and i i'll be putting i will just be maybe copy whatever it is that we have here new company and put it sort of the way we put html uh um uh, components i mean html uh fi data so we go to new company here and we will do that uh, you paste new company you close and then uh, do it that way so we have been able to uh, put our component in our uh view so the next thing i would like is for us to have um controller that you'll be running that uh blade file so i will create a new controller so php uh, tson make controller let us call it company controller and we can flag it as a resource controller such that you create the CRUD uh, functionality or CRUD functions. Then uh, I can go and declare that uh, that the routes for that controller in uh, the routes folder. So here I do route a resource. I believe that is the correct spelling. If I do something wrong, it will not work. So here you do company. And then uh, single quotes, single quotes, company, controller. Like that. And save that. Then uh, go to the controller. Uh, a page HTTP controllers and then company controller and then inside the create function I want us to return a view return a view that we have created and we called it new company I believe new uh, let me see we called it new company dot blade new company dot blade dot php so if you return that view so what i would like us to do is to run our server and see if everything is okay so php is a serve and, uh, and then localhost 8000 as you can see our our server is running and everything is okay. Our company, but, uh, there is nothing that is visible. So I'd like to inspect and see what is wrong. As you can see, we have an error. So I will check in console and we have a problem. So it says. Uh, uh, mounted oh I have forgotten to put a comma somewhere so you go back to sublime is a small error here in um, form component dot view 
I need to put a comma here. Such things mess like to video here. Such the next time we will continue from here and uh, be able to see how we can be able to submit the data and also do some uh, simple validation on uh, our data. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I would like you to subscribe and also comment down below the video is good. And also if you have any challenges such that we may be able to assist each other. Thank you very much.